What's up, people? Welcome back. Total West today is total technology for beginners because we all start somewhere. If you are new, and if you are new, hello there. Well, unlike Linux Mint 17 Cinnamon, let me just tell you in this quick overview review of Linux Mint 17 Mate, this is freaking awesome. I mean, I can use other adjectives, but this is a family channel. As opposed to Cinnamon, I ran multiple tests on this. And by the way, if you hear some static or crackling in the microphone, that's normal. There's some kind of incompatibility incompatibility issue between a non-USB mic and the sound card and Linux. But this is just an experiment to see if it works. Um, I installed different pieces of software, some of my favorites, just to see if I would have any issues the way a beginner may or may not have issues when trying say Linux Mint 17 Mate for the first time and maybe saw a couple of recommendations of pieces of software applications to install. Unlike Cinnamon, I had none, zero zilch issues, at least with some of my favorite pieces of application. Now, I, I was going to call this a full test, but I can't really say a full test except for the specific applications that I installed. I installed, let's see, Kazam, Vocoscreen, Caden Live, you are, sir. Feed reader, Chromium browser, and maybe something else. And I tested the screencasting software twice, as you see here. Oh, one was six minutes, four minutes. I won't play these back. It isn't necessary. Played it back. It was fine. Not an issue whatsoever. As far as the operating system itself goes, um, I'll just show you real quick. Uh, you are, sir. I use this occasionally for some news. Feed reader works perfectly fine. It did not work in um, uh, Cinnamon. Oh, let's see. Kden Live works fine here. This actually did work in Cinnamon. I just couldn't. <laughs> um, yeah, couldn't edit. Could not edit any videos. And I think there was a couple more pieces besides Chromium. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, I did install Chrome. And what's nice about this here, the search bar in in the Mint menu, which is really awesome. You can type in, and if Chromium, for example, if Chromium isn't installed, it'll search for it. Let's say I wanted to, let's try this. Let's say I wanted to, uh, Quadly Bay is a very nice music player. And it would search my computer first. It's not there, but it gives you options, such as search Google, Wikipedia, or install the package Quadly Bay. Now, I won't install this, although this is a very nice piece of software. This is similar, I guess it's something similar to the lens function, the search function in the Ubuntu Dash. I think it's more refined and polished in Linux Mint 17 Mate. And you can toggle back and forth if you don't know this already. If, if you are a beginner, this it was, it still is one of the best pieces of software, one of the best operating systems in the world. I've tested this in the past on multiple machines, never had an issue. This is just awesome. Again, Linux Mint 17 Mate, just a quick overview, testing and running different pieces of software. Uh, after the install, this is by request, to just to take a look at some of the uh, pieces of software. Multimedia was and still seems to be a problem, at least with some Linux distributions. None whatsoever so far in Linux Mint 17, the Mate edition. I'm assuming the other ones will be out soon, KDE. XFCE. You can get more information, of course, off the Linux Mint website. I will have all of the links, relevant links below in the show notes. But so far, Linux Mint 17 Mate is freaking awesome. That's it. Thank you so much for watching and listening. Please subscribe and donate to the channel. It is greatly appreciated as always. And as always, I will catch all of you sometime in the future.